Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here at IFA 2014 and our coverage is actually brought to you by Mercedes Benz and Asus. But right now we're at Huawei, which is the Chinese company aspiring to be number three or even going up to number two in worldwide smartphone manufacturers. Um, and the way they're trying to do this is, among other devices, the new Huawei SN Y550, which is a new entry-level smartphone that has a bunch of very interesting features and it starts retailing soon in Europe and Germany for just 129 euros without a contract. So in the US it's probably might gonna come out later on and we'll probably have the same pricing just in US so that's gonna be 129 US and for that you get a whole lot in this device because in here is a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 64-bit capable quad-core SOC that's running at 1.2 gigahertz. So there you have it. That's one of the first entry-level smartphones running the Snapdragon in a 64-bit version. What's also interesting is this has LTE support at up to 150 megabits a second in a $130 or Euro device. So that's very interesting on this one. There's also one gig of RAM, four gigs of onboard flash storage. The possibility to extend this through micro SD is also uh, available. And this is a 4.5 inch screen running at a resolution of 854 by 480. So that's FWVGA resolution on here. It's still an IPS panel and it has pretty good viewing angles. The pixels are, well, bigger than on other devices in this uh, size range, but it's still a good display and it won't, you won't be able to discern the pixels when holding the device at normal range from your uh, eyes in this case. Let's take a quick tour around and I'll tell you a bit more about this device. It weighs in at 153 grams, which is quite heavy, but it's an improvement over the uh, last generation of Huawei devices, which were kind of flimsy and a bit too light. Uh, there's a 2000 milliamp hour battery in here that you can easily replace. So there's a nice big battery integrated in this device uh, for a 4.5 inch device that should be totally enough. You can remove this back. There's a bunch of different colors. This one is the white version. And let's just take a quick tour then and start out on the front. We have a VGA front camera right here that will give you some, yeah not so great selfies but still there's a front cam on a device at 130 euros we have the uh, we have the earpiece up top and a bunch of capacitive touch buttons on this device at the bottom those are not lighting up actually so if I hit these you will be able to see that there is no light coming up on the right side we get the power button down here which is quite interesting for a small device like this also, we have the volume rocker right there. Up top is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And on the left, there is pretty much nothing except for this little place right there where, can you, where you can remove the back cover, micro USB port, and the mic over here. And on the back, you get the single mono speaker that's on here. So no front facing or stereo speakers, but it's still just an entry level device. Up here we have the 5 megapixel camera, so they're saving some money on the camera side here, so it's more of an uh, entry level kind of for people who want to get stuff done and not um, keep taking pictures all day. If you're busy, this might be for you. So 5 megapixel camera, including autofocus in this case, and an LED flash plus the noise cancelling mic right there. We are running Android 4.4 KitKat on here. so. Let's just take a quick look down here, and there you'll see that this is definitely running Android 4.4.4 KitKat, but also covered with the Emotion UI from Huawei, which has been updated to version 2.3 on this device. So they're kind of, well, I wouldn't say stealing, but they're definitely heavily inspired by the design from another big uh, company that makes the iPhones, right? So, no app drawer on this, so you just flip through the different home screens and have all the uh, apps available right there. When putting the Snapdragon 410 through its benchmark paces on the Huawei Ascent Y550, you can see that this quad-core SOC is definitely doing a very nice job 
on this low end device because you're scoring 20,258 points which is definitely very very decent because if you look down here it's up on par with the Nexus 4 for example or the Galaxy S3 or the Nexus 10 so that's definitely a very nice SOC for a low end smartphone on here so this has just been a quick look at the Huawei Ascent Y550 at IFA 2014 and I was Roland with Mobile Geeks. If you like what we do on our channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Google and Facebook and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.